Ohio head coach Samika Randall challenged her ball club in flipping the script in the starting lineup for the first time in seven games. They trotted out freshman Kina Black and junior Aaron Bales for the first time in the starting lineup to flip the script for the first time in 12 games for Ohio. But it paid off in a team intense win over Eastern Kentucky. Final score from the convocation, Ohio gets it done 69-58 over the invading Lady Colonels. Welcome to the broadcast position. I'm Rob Schreier with Tyler Rostin alongside a good win for Ohio who had a five game losing streak coming into this ball game. But it was a team intense effort that was done by the Ohio Bobcats and they got it done today. And that's just it Rob, coming off a five game losing streak in a game like this, they did a lot of good things right and there were some things to work on, some things to improve. But for Ohio, Ohio, it was a physical battle all game long. Really haven't seen this since the Duquesne game. That was the last time we saw this physical, tough battle. And, and there could have been a situation, uh, the referees calling a couple of ticky tack fouls, some things that, that the Bobcats, you know, could have let ruffle their feathers. They stayed the course, they played their game, they kept it on the court, uh, didn't let the emotions run too high, kept their composure. That's important. It's a good learning experience for the Bobcats. This was a ball game that was tied 34-34 at the half, but Eastern Kentucky struggled because of Ohio's defense in the second half. Lady Colonels finished 10 of 38 in the second half and 1 of 13. That 1-3 was made late in the second half in the waiting moments where Ohio was up double digits from about five minutes on in the second half. Leading the way for Ohio, Siobhan Robinson with 14 points and six rebounds. Freshman Kind of Black, another double digit scoring effort with 13 points and a pair of 12s from Lyles and Aaron Bales as well. Here's how it looked in center from the convo. Turned in and back out for Robinson, near side wing. Got to the paint, penetrated there. Far side three for Bales. Nothing but nylon for the junior. Short leaning jumper, boy. They have really been cold here in the second half as EKU now shooting 38%. It was 50 at one point. Now it and one by Siobhan Robinson, leaning from the right side about eight feet out with the right hand. Offensive board, near side by Fowler, trying to back the, or behind the side dribble there from Fowler into Fisher. Skipping to the right side of the wing there in front of EKU's bench. Now gonna drive with the left hand, stop the Mac logo, back out to Bales. Now she'll life in here for Lyles for three. Bang! Simone Lyles with a three. She's got seven. The freshman, Cherry picking the defense up ahead. It's Siobhan Robinson. 15-21 in the first half. They led 8-5 last time they had the uh, Bobcats had lead over there. Black off the screen for Fisher. Buckets the long two. Diana Black begin to heat up here in the second half. So the Cats up by three. Into the right side corner for Baldwin as she trying to push the pace. Lyles Robinson will jay it up in that one. Into the front lip of the cup. The top of the backboard and straight through. The Colonels playing with a little bit of a bench lineup here and off the dribble Fowler gets faster defender and leans away right side for the long two. Good Jay there by Ashley Fowler with four points. Ohio back on top by five. Ohio wins it 69-58. Their uh, first double digit win of the season and again to snap that five game slide. Now the uh, last of a five game homestand going to wrap up here at the Convo with Moorhead State on Sunday coming into the Convo at two o'clock. A chance for Ohio to get uh, a couple strung together before you take a road trip starting with Marshall. And that's just it and head coach Meek Randall sending a message to her players today with a bit of a role reversal. Well, they sent one back. They're ready to play. They're ready to step up. Take that responsibility on them. With Moorhead State coming in it's going to be a tough game on Sunday for the Bobcats, but like you said, get a couple wins here, string some momentum together. Next thing you know, you're on a road trip, and who knows what happens the rest of the, uh, December. Ohio now 2-5 and five in the season. EKU drops to 5-4. and four. For Tyler Ross and I'm Rob Schreiner. For Chris Sabo, this is Bobcat TV.